They're working closely with some of the community's most vulnerable adults and their families to provide them with the support they need to live independently and with dignity. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me now is Karen Schrock, the President and CEO of Adult Wellbeing Services. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me. I'm not sure what the best way is to describe your organization because you do help seniors in so many different ways from providing adult foster care to help with you know, uh, navigating through the health care system mm -hmm. and how you can age in place. Uh, but what is common about what you do is that you're always assisting or mostly uh, adults, senior citizens who are uh, very vulnerable today. That's correct. And when you talk about vulnerable seniors today, we're talking about vulnerability because of health, finances, living situation, potential abuse or neglect by other family members. So there are a number of ways that seniors are vulnerable in our communities. And it's a growing population, correct? Each year we see more and more folks aging into that senior population? Absolutely. You hear about the baby boomer generation all the time. That's 75, 80 million people right now who are between the ages of 55 and 65, a huge group right now. Southfield in particular has a large aging population. And these folks, uh, if they are vulnerable in some way, if they have some sort of a disability, be it, uh, be it physical or mental, they may need assistance. They may even need to be in, in some type of a, of a foster care type situation. And that's not always the, the best or the easiest or, the mo or even a possible situation for that's them. That's correct. We work with people to try to keep them as independent as possible. But many people, particularly with mental illness or developmental disabilities, do need a supported housing situation. So we work with them for that. If they need a, a higher level of care, we work with them to secure that as well. And there's a bit of a crisis uh, underway in that adult foster care uh, system right now. Absolutely. There is. Many of the viewers will remember that the state of Michigan made a deliberate decision to shut down most of our mental health institutions. And today what we do is have people in the community, primarily in adult foster care homes, who are there and have to really be taken care of by other people. And so would it be obviously more ideal if, if I would assume your number one goal is to try to assist folks to, to age in place, if you will, to stay in their own homes with their own families? Absolutely. That's everyone's goal. Whenever you talk with people and ask where they'd like to live or for that matter where they'd like to die, they say at home and at home with family members or people who love them. No one wants to be in an institution, whether it's large or small. And somebody could come, a family member, or perhaps, or maybe a senior themselves to your organization and ask, how can you assist me, help me to make this possible? Absolutely, and that's exactly what we do. We help people, we help families, we help community members figure out how they can navigate a very complex system of social services. It's not easy, very intelligent people who don't understand the complexities of the aging network, the healthcare system, et cetera, have a difficult time finding services, whether it's a nursing home, whether it's an adult foster care home or whatever, it's not easy. So that's why agencies like ours are out there to help. Can become very overwhelming. Yes. Helping to narrow it down. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. For more information on today's topic, you can visit awbs.org. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Karen Schrock, the President and CEO of Adult Wellbeing Services.